Guys, we are back for another one here on this year Mr. Lix reaction. Um, well, Mr. Lix, Mr. Lix, I guess the reaction channel is another vibration. But guys, welcome back to this year, guys. And of course, this one we're gonna be um pretty much reacting or reviewing um the living conditions of certain areas, that of which includes Kolyu and the Bagatel or Bagatel region, right there, guys. As you can pretty much see, this one is in Kolyu, so we're gonna pretty much review it right there and then guys let us take a listen to this one by the way guys definitely subscribe and definitely turn on the post notification by clicking the bell so you can pretty much get all the videos as they come through and guys i would appreciate giving giving this video a thumbs up <laughs> as well in this regard right there and then so let us get to this one time like i said guys this is in the Kolyo region oh what am i doing okay there's a fall there guys i guess the fall lives there as well but hey that is yours I guess sometimes you have to, you know, when friends and, and family not around, the fowls and the, the animals will come and keep you company. But that is a heck of a state to be in right now, brothers and sisters. Don't, don't you see what this looks like right now, brothers and sisters? This is the living conditions of an individual in Coliho, brothers and sisters. That is in Dominica, the nature isle of the Caribbean, man. This is the outside. You, by the way, you are literally outside and seeing the god fall in front of you and looking inside the entire house right there guys this looks like it's kind of like a bridge or something man inside the house what do you step what do you step for that now that is somebody's house man that is boy you boy you mad or oh, that is a piece of the house okay okay that's how, that's how it is. So that is what okay. So this is how you end up going into the house right there. Now guys, I saw this video before, but I was I didn't watch it in full extent to exactly you know showcase bit by bit of what it is like. Oh, and that is the downstairs. So if you have family members, I don't know if you have family members or, or, or but if you have family members who come in to visit, I guess it's done there they have to go and stay. Like, don't, don't, don't sit inside the house. Don't sit inside the house. That's tough, man. Don't that's that's freaking tough. Look at the other house by it. Guys, look at the other house by it, man. Look at the other house. So it's not just that boy, you mad. It's not just that house alone, you know. But look at the other house right there, guys. That is his garage or something. Hey, boy, let me leave that alone, eh? Anyways, you step up. In, or you go on top of the step. You go walking up. You know, it are upstairs and downstairs. You think just because it's upstairs and downstairs doesn't mean that is the best thing, you know, guys. You stepping upstairs, you going up the step, you coming into there, then you have to cross a bridge. You boy, you boy. You. The entrance. The house. When you go inside the house, you will conduct yourself. Home. The bridge, they call it that. You conduct yourself. If you miss and you fall, brothers and sisters, it's not a pool that we load in, huh? Piece of galvanized, piece of stick that's sticking out there. If you fall there, boy, you mad. That is, boy, I tell you. you know, Hamlet, and that is the living conditions. <laughs> that hor But first of all, Hurricane Maria passed. They bust a billet house after Hurricane Maria because I can understand. That house probably survived Hurricane Boy, let me. <laughs> okay then. And I walk and that is a wood there to go inside the house. And this is inside the house right there. This is inside the hole. Somebody give this brother a bed sheet, please, Makwisa. Please, I'm begging you, give this brother a bed sheet. I see it have a Crick's thing there. I don't want to know what them pills for, but I don't see no other bathroom inside the place. <laughs> Let me do this. And you can see the floor is curving in, you know. So anytime the I know the pan have a bridge, you might have to put a bridge in his bedroom to boy. Not level. Hmm. I was giving. And this is the conditions of a, 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 a elderly folk living in call you. And you mean to tell me, boy, let me. You can see Lucy now. The roof for the up. The man have a sunroof. The man have a sunroof. And it's not a willful sunroof that they know brothers and sisters. The man have a sunroof, we boy. So when but when rain boy, when rain coming inside there, it's not gonna be easy, no? You see what happening, boy. 
When trop that set a tropical um, storm passing in Dominica. <laughs> Bro. Okay. And the wood looking like it was eating out, you know. Oh, so watching downstairs. Yeah, the, the, the commentator watching downstairs. It's not a porch you have. It's not a porch. That's probably the man living room you be there. In his living room not there, you know, guys. Because remember, when you step in, look these, these steps there, you know. When you step in into the house, you then step in into the house and you're still outside because the board, the floors fell down right there. And this is pretty much the man living room and you can literally... I talk about sunroof. The man have a sun flowy. You can see outside from the living room inside the house. Outside. More fall. At least the fall them got in the house. No thief coming inside that house there today. You see? Just... And the boards looking like they eat up. Turn my damage. Turn my dad there, you know. Turn my dad there. Turn the house. That is the condition of where a man living, man. Yes, sir, father. Yes, sir, father. Okay. Yes, sir. That's this to go to the house. You see it? That's I've seen it, my brother. I've seen it. No, no. Now, from that angle, it doesn't look too bad. But when you go inside the house, that have a window there, I don't think that that window come out. So my boy have a sun floor, a sun roof, and he have a side, a sun side, what they call the sun? I don't even know. But it's just very sad to see these things. I know it might sound funny for all you and whatnot I see in there, but it, it, it is a sad situation that there. And the reason why I'm bringing up these kind of things here, guys, is because I also heard that this guy was promised after he voted for a particular um, um, political party, they promised to help him. And the individual of before actually showed that video on the on the um, previous vlog, um, on the vlog on my main channel, um, where the individual was talking about people coming and say, oh, if you vote for me, then I'll help you build this house, man. Election was 2019. And you can say, oh, no, it's not that. You can say that. Fine. Election pass. It have COVID and those kind of things there. You say struggle. But right now, guys, the thing that has burned my skin is the understanding that the Prime Minister now wants $64,000. On top of that, lives in a mansion, guys. I'm just trying to piece it together. I'm just trying to piece it together to understand what this person this individual that's living in, in this house what he must be going through in his mindset they tell me they would help me if i vote for them if i vote for them they will come and help me and whatnot they don't come yet still there's a protrusion if i if i say it properly or there's a saying that goes that the prime minister wants sixty four thousand dollars every month to maintain guys if you just take one month salary not one month salary no one month rent and we put it towards that house trust me when i tell you the amount of sunroof that brother would have without rain coming in that would be a blessing hallelujah that would be a blessing for that brother because his house would definitely be pimped up man sixty four thousand dollars guys if we can take sixty four thousand dollars and fix up every every month Hold on, hold on. If you can take sixty-four thousand dollars every month and decide to fix individual houses, guys, don't you think that that would be a blessing, man? I think that would be very much of a great blessing. But it's just sad to see what is going on, guys. There's another video with Siri involved in it. Siri is another YouTuber, well, a, a social media individual. Who also tries his best to pretty much give viewpoint of the South or give a viewpoint of the South on what is taking place in the South in terms of the things that was said by the very Prime Minister who said he's gonna be helping and doing things and setting up different things. But unfortunately, guys, one thing we first say we like to believe 
in hope or we like to take person's words you know especially when it, when, when we see in reality it's totally against what individual are saying but we still have hope some way somehow that that person will keep up with the words that they have stated that they will be doing for individuals anyways guys this is siri right there of course his link will be in the description below and of course you can check it out for yourself so where we are in bagatel right now we are in that section of Sydney. This is part of Bagatel. So we have this gentleman who is living in that bad situation since Hurricane Maria. And we decide now we cannot... Hurricane Maria was 2017, guys. This is 2020. Three years later, eh? Three years later. Except that he is, he is living in that situation. So we decide now we're going to come together to be a little shock for him. Hmm. So first we're going to show the world this situation since Hurricane Maria. He have not got any, any help. Since Hurricane Maria, so come and show the world. You know more. Come and show the world. This is Kif, Kif from Bagatel. <laughs> Kif Diko from Bagatel. Guys, this if you see this thing right there, he is guys, there, have been living since. Her. Guys, if you notice, this is a bathroom, eh? This is a bathroom. This area that you, you see that little hole there, eh? you seen the stuff. That is where the man bed is. That is where you put in a toilet, guys. A toilet that go in there. Hurricane Maria. Yep. And on the next side, this is where you see in the bathtub, the bathroom area. This is where the man's bed. Boy, you mad. This is where the man's bed is, man. The man is living in a bathroom, in a living toilet. In, in a toilet region, man. Situation. It's 2020 we're talking about, guys. And the Prime Minister, instead of he looking at these kind of things there. Guys, when you put people in positions to do things for us, the basis of why you put them into... The, the basis why we put them in positions is to do things for us. I know I repeat it, but I, I, I that is why we put them in positions, you know, guys. So they can do things for us. This individual right there, he's living. Guys. This is Hurricane Maria, and we cannot accept for a human being should be living in that situation. Foul living better than Mr. Foul living better than Mr. <laughs> In time of age in 2020 in Bagatel. So we have come together, right? And decide now we're going to be a little shock for him. Well, that is a good thing, Siri. That is a good thing, and I must applaud Siri for that. He Siri doesn't have much guys. Siri himself doesn't even have a job, man. That's why I want you guys to go over to Siri's channel, man. Go over, the link will be in the description below. And definitely show him some mad love and support. I think he just dropped a video in terms of the bridge situation in Bagatel. And, you know, the empty promises yet again that was being made by the very same um, 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 leader or government officials, man. They wanted to pretend as if they were making bridge and whatnot. Right now, heavy rainfall and it is preventing individuals from coming and passing across. Because they pretty much have to go through the river before they can go to the next side. So, anyways, guys, check out his stuff, man. He has a lot of interesting, pretty cool stuff. Definitely check out his link in the description or in the first comment below. I'll post that as well. But this situation right there is something extra special. I don't know some persons, when I posted this one earlier on in the week, a number of persons were saying that they want to reach out to me. Guys, my links, you can pretty much send me the stuff and I will send Siri the stuff as well to help him. I know some of you guys actually reached out saying, hey, you want to help this individual. Well, this is one of the ways that you can do so. I don't know if Siri have anything um siri is not um computer savvy so to speak when it comes on to um social media and stuff this is why you know you can send you can pretty much send me the funds if you want me to help tell me um and i will definitely get this on the go for you guys i know some persons actually reached out to me uh, in terms of them wanting to do the labor itself to help build but um siri has his crew to help build remember guys siri does not have income like crazy man but they're trying their best to see how they can help this person Right there. Today is the first phase, like the Prime Minister always like to say, that's his favorite word, first phase. Hmm. So today we're gonna use the first phase. We're gonna be doing the first phase today. We're gonna measure, we're gonna be measure the, the length. We're gonna measure the length of the... Wait, wait, wait a while. Of, but, 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 but Siri, where do you rest of your pants now, Siri? Where do you rest of your pants, bro? I know it's not them for that eat your pants, Mark Lisa, but Siri, where do you rest of your pants? But then again, in these conditions that we're living in right now, I mean... House, so we will, we will we will be building we will be building a ten feet a ten feet garbage garbage guys I, I I guys 
kudos to Siri for helping out. Siri, I cannot get over your pants, no, bro. I cannot get over your pants, bro. Your pants looking like it was a house that didn't have no window and you wanted to get window, so you tear it open so you can breathe, man. Your legs can breathe. Siri, hey, do you? Do you, my brother? Do you? But them pants there, them pants, brother. I don't know if it's Kanye West that designed them or something, my brother, but hey, do you, my brother? Uh, fuck him before in Bagatelle. Because he hasn't got any help from the any help, any assistance from the Prime Minister Scarit. So we decided we're going to build a shack for him and he have already start, started to dig one, two holes. And come forward, we're gonna show. We're gonna show the world. We're gonna show the world that is already some galvanage. That is some, some galvanage you have already collected and we have some. Well, them galvanized are looking like they equated to each other. Now, so I guess people will probably contribute in any kind of galvanize and they're gonna knock them together to see what they can build. Um, but I'm very much concerned when it comes down to the hurricane and tropical storms. Even today, a tropical storm has been passing and brought some serious, serious rainfall, man. If you want to go on BRBP TV, you can check that link as well. Um, you will pretty much see the whole vibes of that. Um, the whole storm bringing heavy rainfall, flooding in Dominican, cra going crazy um, in the place and stuff. So if you want to go check that out, guys. So can you imagine for more if a hurricane actually has to come and they build this stuff for this brother? Man, so guys, sometimes I don't know. Eh? I don't know. I don't know, eh, guys. Because I check in... People, yes, people trying their best to do something. And by the way, this brother is also disabled. The brother they, they actually um doing this thing for, he's not disabled or handicapped. He's handicapped, I believe it is, or disabled, one of them. But um, when it comes on to these situations, man, and you're trying your best to help, and then you know about we are in the hurricane season, and right now it's getting tough in the hurricane season. We have another one coming again, and that one... Is steady to be moving west. Uh, there's another um, system out there. Um, we have Tropical Storm Laura, and there's another system that is coming as well, guys. They're saying things are gonna be going crazy this hurricane season, and then we're seeing these kind of situations right there, guys. It, 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 it man, I don't know. Eh? I don't know, guys. It's, 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 I mean, yes, you're trying to help out, but at the same time, is it enough? Is it enough though? Like. I don't know, man. guys. What are your thoughts, man? Leave that, of course, in the comment box below. Post. We have some posts under this galvanage. So today we are just going to watch to see how many posts we have. How many? Posts. Show the world. Show the world. You know. So he has he has some posts there, idea. So he has some posts. So we today we gonna just calculate the amount of posts he have. So we are gonna build a galvanage shack for him. So that Rudolph and all the other people out there, all you cannot provide some posts for somebody who is in need, man. I mean, yes, he's a young man, but he's also handicapped as well. So. I don't know, guys. <laughs> Boy. To be more comfortable. So, the prayer. So, 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 so Scarit now wants us, the Dominican, to pay a house for him to $32,000 in total. $32,000. $32,000 when it comes down to the house rent. But there's an additional $32,300 when it comes on. Minimum, eh? Minimum. When it comes down to the maintenance of the, um, not I say house rent, mansion rent, right guys? 32,300 in addition when it comes down to the mansion maintenance, cooking, cleaning, yard work, so forth and so forth. And then we see in situations like this, man, it's kind of sad, man. I don't know. Sixty-four thousand dollars for him to stay in a house and when you have people still living in their toilet in 2020 mm -hmm. in Bagatelle. So we, we are we are we are not uh, we are against that and we are fighting for better for our people. So we're gonna come together, we're gonna build a governor shack and anybody who have a piece of Wait a while. So he's saying we're fighting together for our people, but the prime minister is supposed to be for the people. I mean guys <laughs> boy a piece of plywood, anything, a bag of cement, any way we can help keep the foreign bag until to come out in this toilet he have been living in. For, for a couple years now, just try to meet us, connect us, and so that we could get and pick up whatever you you have and how we can assist it because we want to do this for him because he cannot be living in this toilet there for all these years. And when Scary wants us to pay a forty-two thousand dollar house for him, and the people's situation is so bad and badly off, and this is just one case. In this is just one case. We have a lot of cases. And he, he's on. not lying. He's not lying, guys. There are a number of other cases that actually posted on my other channel. On my main channel, man, there are a number of other cases like this. This is not one, two cases, you know, guys. And yes, we appreciate that the government has created apartments, man. 
But when it comes down to creating apartments for those who actually need, that is very much debatable because a lot of people are complaining, even the very minister is complaining that people are using these apartments to rent or sublet to individuals so they can make money of it. But the people who actually really need it are not getting. I mean, we've seen these present situations. We've seen the situations right there, man. This is not this is not last month, you know, guys. This is not last month, you know, guys. This is within the week, you know, we're talking about there, guys. Within the week. We have a lot of cases to come. You are not in so good health. So he is not in good health to be taking all that cold coldness in, in that toilet there without any door. Just a tap hole in that is his door. You know? handicap. And he's an handicap, so we have to do something for him. Right. You know? If Scary don't want to look do man, anything yeah. and he wants us to pay the house. Look the man, look the man, look the man. Look the man. Guys, can you imagine you working your entire life, man? Trying your best to survive. Doing boy, do, trying your best, man. And then at this age, man. That is the best you can do. I'm not saying people can make mistakes and people make mistakes, yeah, sure. But at this age, man, at this age though, that is the best that you can do. Staying in a toilet. And then we have to pay the Prime Minister $64,000. Anyways, guys, I go too long on that, guys. What are your thoughts on this, man? Leave that, of course, in the comment box below. And guys, if you're in, I know it might some of the stuff I say might sound funny, yes, guys. But serious, seriously speaking, guys, these situations is no laughing matter whatsoever, man. No laughing matter whatsoever, man. Look at that. Anyways, guys, let me know your thoughts in the comment box below. And of course. I'll see you guys in the next one.